Hi everybody, this is Under the Honda Mackin and welcome to another episode of Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People and this time th this is a special little extra episode that we're doing. Uh, this is actually I'm running episode one of Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People and uh, this is also a new session I'm recording uh, this uh, this actually in 2019 like the, uh, the I, I actually recorded the first four episodes of Strong Bad School Game for Attractive People um, back in 2018. I played through all four episodes. And now, uh, before we start episode five, which is the final episode, 8-Bit is Enough, uh, I, which, which has to do with, the, um, with video games, uh, specifically this stuff. Let's look at this. That's my Videlectrics poster that I got for sending in 10 bucks to become a member of the Videlectrics Good Graphic Kateers. So, so the next episode is going to feature a lot of in-jokes and also a lot of characters from these uh, uh, Videlectrics Fun Machine games. And we played a little bit of the space game in episode 4. Uh, but I really did not play the Fun Machine at all in the previous episodes of this Let's Play. So, th this is all that this little extra episode is going to be about is that I'm going to play a little bit of the Fun Machine games so that we all get a little bit of a taster for the okay. stuff that's going to happen. Show me that logo. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's our running awesome. theme. Snake Boxer 5. Snake so Boxer, yeah. The unfortunate Snake Boxer 4, Lady Snake Parade. All right. Up and down is move, right is uh block, okay? And control is punch. Snakes get ready for the pummeling. All right, so the, so yeah, like, like I mentioned, you can tell you can tell from the uh, uh, the the controller in Strong Bad's hand that you know that's clearly like uh, kind of an NES Ooh, style controller. Face. But you look at the graphics, you look at the machine itself. It's it's, it's like on a like an Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Well, this is a this is a. No way! And this snake goes down. All right, a different snake now. Come on. Ooh. Oh, I got one health bar, but I guess I guess I guess I have three lives. Ooh. <laughs> and yes, uh, you you can probably hear me hit the buttons, so sorry about that. Oh 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 god oh god ow. Oh, man. Now the person who I think would have actually been great for a guest commentary for this would probably be Aqualung because he loves the Atari. Uh, he, he was an uh, he was an Atari kid. He actually had an Atari growing up. I didn't, and I don't actually know anybody. Uh, again, I'm not I'm not American. I'm European, but I've never actually known anybody who owns an Atari anything. Uh, I know the Atari computers were sort of semi-popular in Finland. Whoa. Okay, the red snake. Oh, that's so cheated! Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, I'm so close to beating this guy. Orange snake. How many different kinds of snakes? Oh, they get, keep cutting, get just faster. Stupid snake. Oh, man, I died. sucks. I think this game's pretty fun. I'll, I'll try it again. Oh, <laughs> immediately just get, get bit. I don't, uh. Oh god, this is why I had so many. Okay, uh, I'm, so I'm doing the solo. Uh, I'm, I I started doing these solo let's plays again. I had a for a long while. I had a rule that I wasn't gonna do these because um, people might remember that back back way way back when my actually my very first let's play was the uh, a solo. Ouch. Solo let's play of the uh, Mega Man 4 on my main channel, and then I did Mega Man 5. But in the interim of those Mega Man ones, I actually did uh, Mario Golf, and it was such a fucking boring video <laughs> that I immediately thought, man, I should not do solo let's plays anymore. I, I, I keep, I got confused about wh which one was my health bar. I don't know why I got confused. 
Oh god. It's, it, it's so easy for. Oh, I haven't actually been blocking. What happens if I block? He dodges right. I wonder if this snake is stuffed with lots of little snakes. I don't really know what the optimal strategy is for this game. <laughs> And, uh, of course, watch. they have games like this on the Home Store site. But yeah, so, for a little while, because of how awful that Mario Golf Let's Play was, uh, once I finished the Mega Man 5 Let's Play, and I gotta be honest, I'm not really super proud of that one, uh, my video capture got a lot better during that Let's Play, so that's, that's one thing that I'm happy about. Man, that was hard! Now I'm concentrating so hard. Yeah, so after that, I thought for a while that no, I'm not gonna do any more solo let's plays. And I, every once in a while, I I, I, I tried it again. I did it with the international superstar sucker. I've been invited. I tried it with this international superstar sucker one because uh, that was a game I really liked, and because I knew I wasn't gonna get anybody to play it with me. Take that! Ooh, right in the face! Kapow! But then, uh... Upper blow! Uh, but, but then, like, every once in a while, like, it just turns out that it's just easier Ooh, to... Right in the face. And faster to just do a solo Let's Play quickly than trying to organize, like, getting somebody to do it no with me. So... Me. Okay, now there's this... Fuchsia, yeah, or like pink Scott snake, I don't know. Giant eyebrows holding two giant cherries! Eat my red blocky pom poms. Take that. This is actually, <laughs> you know, you know. So, uh, like I said, uh, Aqualung would have been a perfect Your guest host for this died. because he loves no uh, old Atari games. But for me, Atari. It's just maybe, like maybe just a smidge to uh, a primitive. Freak show snakes. And, it's an honor. <laughs> and I'm not talking about like the game itself. I'm sure the games are fun to play. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been so s successful. I'm just talking about like the graphics because you know these are supposed to be super simplified graphics. Stop trying to get the first <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, but um. But, like, I do like the arcade games of the early 80s. Those are actually... I, I gotta be honest, I'm not actually a big arcade fan either. I think most arcade games are a big rip-off. And they are because most of them are designed to be... Where's the hot girl that tells me what round it is? Oh, I see her. I think she's that box. <laughs> I haven't really been paying attention to the comments, but... That strong, strong, mad, uh, strong bad keeps making, but... Take that! Funny thing about Strong Bad, also, he, oh god, he's actually inspired by an NES character himself. Uh, I think he's from the um, the original NES Pro Wrestling. There's a character in that called Strong Bad. It might not be pro wrestling specifically, but some pro wrestling game. Upper blow. Can you really do an upper blow on a snake? Oh, that, <laughs> that sounds d dirty. <laughs> Black is really great at how it lets you imagine a crowd cheering you on. Ugh. Stop trying to get the first base with me. Got to see if I can get back up to that fuchsia snake. Oh god. Yes, I am awesome. There's the red snake, and then comes the orange snake, doesn't it? Ooh, right in the face! I mean, I'm, 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 done, I'm officially done moving up and down the ring because... Because it... it because it doesn't seem to... Be, 
Oh, Benefit need that much. Come on, get down here, get down here. Body punch! Where's the hot girl that tells me what round it is? No, oh, I see her. I think she's that box. Orange snake? Okay. And I've actually, you know, uh, a lot of those Vidalectrix games, uh, my red and they're, they're available on the Homestar Runner website, which is up still. Uh, they are, I think, uh, or were at least, I did check before the years, and I haven't checked since. Your Cobra style is no match for the way of the drunken five pixel power punch. Uh, I think they were updating it to HTML5, but I think they haven't done yet, so the old site is still up and running. What? No, I was not just snake boxed. And, uh, there's actually one game that, uh, by them that I have actually completed. Well, actually two. There's the mini, uh, uh, dangerous, uh, uh, point-and-click game that they released as a promo the for the episode my four my view. and um, <clears throat> and then uh, there's peasants quest and I think I'll talk about that a bit later now I think we we're, we that's half the episode there so when we come back we're we'll be in episode two playing the fun machine game in that so see you then all right and welcome back to the second half of this bonus episode and now we're playing episode two strong bad the other free and uh, let's, let's see if this. Ah, my wall is exploding with video games. <laughs> oh yeah, some of those games are on the site. Some are have never actually been released, and I think that's intentional. Okay, so let's see what. Let's see what game have I got queued up for the fun machine? Math kickers featuring the algebra. Algebras. <laughs> when are video games gonna learn? You can't learn from video games. So this is supposed to be like an educational video game. Oh, sweet. That's the Mega Man sprite. Wow, I want, I'm surprised they got away with that. <laughs> okay. Move arrow keys. Left attack, right attack. Uh, okay. I, I have not played this in a while, so I'm not sure. But I think it's just supposed to be a beat-em-up. We got ninjas, bro! We must restore balance! And ninjas say, dot, dot, dot. I'll subtract, and I will add. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, uh... Oh, uh, so, one. I'm the master of hand-to-hand -hand arithmetic! What? Okay. <laughs> All right! All right! Okay, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not quite... I'm not sure if those math problems actually affect anything. I saw the number go down. Oh... Oh, 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 do I just... I'm the master of hand-to-hand -hand arithmetic! Factor this! Uh, okay. Punch, oh, 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 I can attack it, so... <laughs> this is weird. Sorry, I'm lost for words because I honestly don't think I've played this and... <laughs> this is really confusing. Parabolic equation? Oh, I love those effects. Now the graphics are just way too good for whatever Hello. goddamn system this is supposed to be. <laughs> like I said, it's supposed to... It kind of looks like an Atari, but... All right. So we're supposed to just have an equal amount of those guys on each side. Is that it? So, if I add one... I'm the master of oh, okay, now I get it. All right. Wow, this game is way easier than that uh, snake punching game. All right. And then everyone, so so it's not really a beat 'em up. Wow, this game. <laughs> What's this? Polynomial boss fight attack. What? 
Whoa, what? Uh... It actually is a boss. I didn't know. I didn't know I could. I could move during that part. So obviously this is kind of taking on Double Dragon. So I guess this is supposed to be like an NES game. But like I said, the graphics are actually too good for this to be even an NES game because the characters have too many colors. <laughs> You can't have four colors on... Wait, you can't have five colors on a character in an NES game. <laughs> and I know this is about pizza pie. Oh, uh, I just now noticed that, by the way. I'm the master of hand-to-hand -hand arithmetic. All right, so I guess this is the kind of game you literally just play until you get bored. Lame. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was about to talk about something before the break, but now I uh, lost my trail of thought. Oh, no. Okay. I'm the master of hand -to -hand arithmetic. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, Peasant's Quest. So, uh, Peasant's Quest is the other Vidalectrics game that I've actually completed. And it's, you know, a parody of, obviously, King's Quest. But it, 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 it's a parody, but it's also, like, a very, very faithful kind of homage as well, because it's the kind of... It has that Sierra tradition that it's so it's very very easy to get killed, Factor this. and a lot of the puzzles just aren't uh, inherently like you know, obvious. Punch, maim. These boss fights aren't very difficult though. So I did play through that game, but I played it through uh, with like the walkthrough uh, open in another uh, uh, in another Punch, window. Maim at the same time because it is easy to get stuck in that and also because it was a browser flash game uh, you obviously couldn't save your progress so so uh, it's the kind of game that you have to beat in one sitting and I've only ever uh, beaten uh, one uh, uh, one of those played out internet cliche alright yeah, I've only ever beaten uh, one of the uh, quest games. I've, of course, I played through. Um, uh, okay, I'm, 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 I'm gonna see if I can. Oh no, game over. Okay, I'm uh, actually this game wasn't as fun as Snake Puncher. I gotta be honest, <laughs> but I'll, 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 I'll play it a little bit along so I can finish the story. Okay, I can, I can, I can skip that. Um, so. But I've never actually beaten uh, any of the. Uh, uh, so, I, so I've beaten all the Gabriel Knight games, obviously. I've uh, played through Larry six and seven, and the first Larry as well. Uh, never really got into Larry two or three and five, which is the fourth game, confusingly. Uh, even though you can't die in that, I, I, there's something about the design of that game. It's just so sluggish that uh, that I just don't enjoy it. What's uh, this? Boss fight okay, and uh, Punch, so uh, but of the King's Quest games, the only one that I've uh, powered all the way through was King's Quest Five. Uh, awesome. And I'm gonna be honest, it's probably because you know it was featured in a Chontron episode, and that's why I ha I got the motivation because I saw that it was. I I think I think that game is adorable. I think it's really, really fun. Uh, but, again, just like with Peasant's Quest, I did play through uh, wherever I... Whenever I got stuck, uh, I, I immediately right. checked the walkthrough because I knew I was never going to be able to figure it out. And, yeah, that game that game has some bullshit parts. Like, ones where... Like, if you... There's, a there's like, one part where you have to save, a, like, a freaking rat lady. Uh, like, a female rat. And if you don't... Uh, there's going to be a part in the game where you're trapped, and uh, and you won't get, won't be able to get away, <coughs> and then it's game over for you. And I think I'm officially done with algebra. It's like this game is not as fun as Snake, uh, a Snake Puncher. So, uh, so I think that concludes this little bonus episode. And the next episode uh, of Strong Bad School Game for Attractive People will be episode five. Uh, Eight bit is enough. So see you then. Bye bye.